Now, seeing that uh, me being me, uh, I didn't really document the building of this film hood, uh, I'm not gonna make a proper tutorial on building this. Either way, I already have a few videos showing how I built my old one. So this new one, it's pretty much your typical film hood build. So I bought uh, one, two, two uh, four foot by two foot uh, plywood boards, half inch thick. And um, the first one goes in the back. And uh, I also bought two, oh wait, no, three, three four foot by two foot and two two foot by two foot two foot by two foot go here and there are the walls and the other four foot one goes on top the roof and um yeah so the extra one is cut in half and used as an extension so there's one foot more of height because otherwise it's sort of useless as a fume hood with this i can actually fit a fractional distillation with this i can actually fit a fractional distillation inside unlike my previous one with that six inches of headroom so up here, I have approximately six inches, five inches of wood. Uh, it's because my sash was large enough for this. So, just wood there. I have polypropylene foam uh, glued onto the wood, uh, creating a lining that creates sort of an airtight seal. It's not airtight, of course, also acrylic bends. Uh, PVC pipe with a rope, and this side's supposed to have a spring, but right now I'm using a bottle of sulfuric acid as a weight to keep it taut. So this holds the sash, sash down, and I have tape going over the entire thing, packing tape, so it slides smoothly and does not scratch wood. So the sash was pure acrylic, 30, no, 4 feet by 2 feet large, and uh, it cracked it because acrylic's really annoying. Uh, I got a metal bar from one of my old shelves, uh, attached another piece on. Here's, it wasn't long enough, so I had a bridge in, that's where this cracked for him, but there's a piece of metal there. Very convenient for putting a thermometer on there with a magnet. And um, again, the sash mechanism, these things, screws, and then the eyelets, so they fit really nicely. Issues, uh, this thing is not square. This is not perpendicular. You can see the bend in it. So, uh, yeah, instead of using this bolt, I gave up and you just use a hook and you have to change it. Whatever. Eh, it works. I'm not mad. Uh, the blower's the same blower. I might switch that out for a stronger centrifugal polypropylene shing hood blower in the future, but that thing's going to be rerouted. Um, currently, just vents on top of the garage because I can't drill a hole in that wall, unfortunately, and I wouldn't want to anyways. If I vented up high, oh, I, I would also rather just drill a hole in the ceiling, but can't do that either. But uh, the reason why I'm venting it up so high is because the wind takes it away, and it doesn't bother anyone, and it doesn't really cause anything. And on top here, I have a light ballast. This is powering my uh, fluorescent light bulb, of course. And... Um, there's another wood board here to prevent it from collapsing on itself. All the gaps are sealed with silicone. And um, down to the tile now. So these are just cheap two foot by, no, one foot by four foot ceramic. No, one foot by, one foot by two foot ceramic tiles. Uh, they're cheap, really cheap, so I bought them. Uh, they're very heavy though. And uh, because I didn't account for, oh right, um, how this film is bolted together, it's bolted together from the inside. I use those little angle bracket things, but um, I didn't account for the thickness of the ceramic uh, in the fume hood. So, um, yeah, if, if I move those spacer things out more, more, it'll give enough space for ceramic, but I didn't do that. So, ceramic's actually staggered. It's not flat against the wood, which, me, whatever. Same, si same thing, other side. Now, the back one. Uh, back one hidden behind my wonderful little backdrop, but you can see it's actually four pieces. Honestly, I don't care though. Like it works, so I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. I'm not gonna edit this thing either. Oh, it didn't break. Hmm. Oh dear. I caused mess in here. Oh. <laughs> Put that back up. Safety. Yay. But, uh, yeah. There is just on a plastic pole folding table. For some reason, it's not folding properly, so I gave up on trying to fold it properly. And there's still going to gaps. Uh, no liquid's gonna leak into there, I think. Either way, whatever it does is whatever, not my problem. And, um, yeah, so you can see there's exposed plywood. Now, this has been treated with polyurethane, so it does not soak up chemicals. Oh, right, there's the angle bracket things, you can see them. And a uh, fan. So I cut this hole by drilling a bunch of holes and then sawing. I don't have a coping saw, so I used a hacksaw. A uh, bow saw would be better, though. Oh, I can feel the backdraft out of this thing. That's another thing. I need to get a dampener for this fume hood exhaust because cold air 
uh, enters the lab from it. Either way, it's in a garage, so it's not that good anyways. So, uh, yeah, this is just sealed with lava tape. This is a 10-inch uh, Vivor industrial duct. It has a drawstring, but the drawstring, of course, doesn't make it tight, so wrap some tape around it. Still can smell stuff, so I'm probably going to go around with some silicone. But, uh, yeah, that's the fume hood. So here's the fume hood blower thing. I have a light dimmer in here. I, I just reassembled it with different stuff and also smaller and, yeah, adjustable speed. And then, uh, yeah, the if you mess up setting where it just turns on to full power. And the, the light switch is ported on here. Typical old thingy. And, um, yeah, so fume hood's four foot by two foot by two foot. It's, it's perfect uh, for now. Hmm, might need something larger in the future, but I think this will last me for at least a couple of years, maybe. Yeah, um, I could build an even larger one, but the this one's already actually kind of too big. So, uh, this house was rented, so the homeowners installed some janky shelving, and, uh, the shelving has an L bracket, and that's actually, this is actually hitting it, so wood's a bit dented on the top there. I don't know if you can see it, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Fume hood, yay. Uh, also put this here. Yeah, I don't really use it because you have to <laughs> do that. So anyways, I think for a future sash, though, I'm probably going to do uh, gravity with a counterbalance weight, whatever, or um, spring-loaded or motorized. Motorized, eh, a bit tricky. So, And also the pulley one's also a bit tricky. I mean, I could probably just bolt an eyelet to the rafters and just use that, but eh, I don't want to. But, uh, yeah, I need also to come up with a better way to mount this thing because the plastic PVC pipe is bowing under the pressure. So, yeah, whatever. Either way, it's fine that the fume hood blower is strong enough, so I don't, I don't really care about it. But, yeah, that's how I built my fume hood. Uh, also, a uh, slight lap tour. New fridge, I despark it still, though. Uh, I think the thermostat is actually in the freezer section, though, so... I technically don't need to despark. I mean, the only thing I have to despark is remove the light bulbs, but I don't want it. And also, there's nothing flammable in there right now, uh, other than a, a bottle of empty ether. So there's nothing flammable in there in the first place. Uh, under here, I have Asbury pump. I mutilated it for one of the gauges. I built this little vacuum station manifold thing. Uh, vacuum off, low vacuum, and then uh, this is lock where it shuts off from the vacuum, but this side keeps whatever it's on. This is a PEX short by a uh, ball valve that I hacked by drilling a hole in it in the side, and that's how I have some settings. Uh, here's a bleeder valve which is collected, connected in uh, parallel. Yeah, parallel series? I don't know. I don't know the terms for plumbing. But uh, th this valve is a needle valve. Uh, it's actually out of a propane blowtorch. <laughs> I need to buy a lot of small needle valves. I don't want to do that. There's the vacuum gauge. And I built this switch box, which costed $46. I love inflation. But switches with outlets, cover, metal thing. Uh, butane tank lid thing. Works really well as a cord restraint holder thing. So that turns on the vacuum pump. This is just left on permanently. Uh, glassware, I need to do something better because I already broke uh, Erlemeyer. Um, yeah, because concrete. Probably gonna put some mats down. Uh, that's all other stuff. I need to clean up this area. I need, I, need to get, I need to get some cabinets down in here, but I don't have any cabinets right now, so it's sort of a mess, but whatever. And, um, yeah, so, so that's all the glassware, chemicals and stuff. Uh, I got my scale in there, Rotovap. This fridge I'm going to convert into ice water uh, recirculation. Up here's lab oven, which timer is rusted, so it doesn't timer anymore. And I have water here. Uh, no sink yet, it's just a bucket. I just dispose of the bucket water. But uh, yeah, this is just goes into a T-adapter into the washing machine line. The dryer is supposed to have a water line, but we don't use it because we don't use the steam on it. So it's just, I stole it, so it's mine now. We just don't use the steam function anymore. We, we didn't even in first place so yeah there's water fun and um this lab has two phase electricity so i can run like a bunch of stuff at the same time and don't trip the breaker uh, i could probably run a welder but and eh, not welding yet we have a light bulb hanging from the ceiling of course uh <laughs> safety but um that's a lab tour i guess but i do have access to a higher level now that has uh, sun, so I might install some solar, well, not install, but, like, just set up, prop up some solar panels on some milk crates, 
and they get down some free electricity. Also, solar water distiller, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, this current lab. Not ideal, but better. Uh, I still miss the old lab. The one where it was in the living room, but... Oh, well, I, I can't move all the chemicals in here, so that, that's kind of why. I don't want to, I don't like going back and forth getting stuff, but, oh, well. Uh, probably next step, though, is getting cabinets installed. I can't stand this anymore. I have standards, too, you know. <laughs> and also table, because my laptop, this $1,000 laptop is sitting on milk crates, which is really not good. But other than that, more fun chemistry soon, especially because... You know, I'm not in the house anymore, so I don't need to worry about poisoning other people. Only myself. And, you know, 